Okay, before I start today, it's a trap mode in Nintendo Switch Rio Jinx emulator setup guide for Windows PC. If you like what you see, stay hit notification, subscribe, and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified of every setup guide I release, which is almost every day, if not several times a day, and it really helps out my channel too. So, first things first, if you're not sure what a trap mode is, it's a very awesome front end emulator, game launcher, as it were, and this is very comparable with hyperspin so if you are hyperspin set up attract mode is the right place to go nowadays i've got an entire playlist of attract mode setup guides at this point i'll leave the link in my description for the initial setup guide but anyways we're looking at setting up ryu jinx today so first things first we're going to need to download the latest release of ryu jinx you can download that over on this website from the official ryu jinx.org website and i'll leave the link in the description for that so next thing we're going to need is if we go into my files folder, we got a couple of files inside of here, prods.keys and title.keys. We're also going to need the latest version of Switch firmware, which is 18.1.0, and this needs to be in a zip folder. So what we're going to do next then is actually take a look at the emulator itself. So I've just downloaded Rio Jinx, and you're going to download a zip folder just like I had. So we're going to open this one up and inside of it we got a publish folder. If we just extract this onto the desktop for now. And while this one's extracting we're going to go into the attract modes directory. And I'm going to go into the emulators folder. And I'm going to actually create a new folder in here. So right click new folder and I'm going to call this folder Rio Jinx. So once you've made that Rio Jinx folder and emulators we're going to go into the Rio Jinx folder and i'm going to extract all of those contents of the emulator itself which i've just extracted onto the desktop so i'm just going to drag and drop them into that new folder just like so next thing we're going to want to do in that Rio Jinx folder within attract mode is actually pop in the key and the firmware files so remember prods.keys title.keys and firmware needs to be in dot zip if we just drag and drop those in there as well next thing we're going to do then is actually set up the emulator so if i just double left click on reojinx.exe and windows protected your pc just go to more info anyway and run anyway okay so on your first boot of a Rio Jinx, you'll likely see what i've just got keys not found so we're just going to okay this and what we're going to do we're going to put those keys into the correct place so we won't get this happen again so in Rio Jinx, just go to file open Rio Jinx folder now from here it's just a case of go into your desktop or wherever your attract mode folder is and if you recall a minute ago in emulators Rio Jinx, i popped in my prods.keys and title.keys in here so if i just make a copy of those and come back and those key files are going to go into the system folder and you can then paste them just here that simple so if we just close out of this and just close down Rio Jinx, we're going to open this one up again. Okay, on the second boot, as we can see, those keys aren't being requested because we put those into the correct place. Next thing we're going to want to do is add firmware. So to do this, we're going to go to Tools, Install Firmware, Install a Firmware from XCI or Zip. And from here, it's just a case of going back to your Attract Mode folder, into the Emulators folder, into Rio Jinx, and then selecting, double left clicking on the firmware.zip. And we want to press yes on Install Firmware. And that's been successfully installed. Next thing we need to do is add our games into Rio Jinx. Okay, so if we just close out of Rio Jinx for now, what we're going to do is go back into the Attract Mode directory, into the ROMs folder. If you don't have one, just put your games wherever you put them. Inside my ROMs folder, I'm going to create a new folder and call this one Switch. And in my Switch folder, I'm going to just drag and drop a couple of games I've got. These are both in .nsp. If you've got XCI games, they also work fine. Okay, so once that's done, we need to then add these into Rio Jinx. So if I then open up Rio Jinx again, and to add these into Rio Jinx, I'm going to go to Options, Settings, 
and under game directory so i'm going to go to add and just here i'm going to point this into my attract mode folder into my roms folder and i'm going to just left click once on switch select folder and then from here i'm going to press apply and ok so these are now in place if i just double left click again to see if it boots okay so that's booting fine so i'm not going to bother playing this so that's the rear jinx emulator setup so we've now got to use a tracks mode so we're going to open up the tracks mode plus now for this i'm going to be using arcade flow i've done a separate video on that so if you like what you see with arcade flow then follow that guide and you'll get a tracks mode look in this awesome too so anyways what we're going to do is press tab and that's going to bring up your configure menu if i go to emulators i'm going to go down to add emulator and i'm going to call this emulator ryu jinx press enter executable i need to now point this into the location of the ryu jinx.exe file easiest way of doing this is by pressing your windows key open up a file explorer i'm going to go to desktop into the attract mode folder emulators Rio jinx and here's my Rio jinx.exe if i right click on that go to copy as path back in attract mode i'm going to press ctrl and v to paste that location backspace the quotations otherwise this won't work and press enter working directory i'm going to press enter on this again windows key and if i then go into the directory of where Rio jinx is on your search bar at the top just left click this right click copy back into a track mode control and v enter and i also need to do this with the roms path as well so if i just backspace roms path press windows key and then i'm going to open up where my roms are so in my roms folder and my switch folder and at the top i'm going to just left click again right click copy back into a track mode Control and v to paste next thing i'm going to need to do is change the rom extension this is dot zip i've got my games in dot nsp so i'm going to take away zip and type in nsp if i press enter system identifier this is going to be nintendo switch and again press enter info source scraper for now i'm going to use the games database and if i then continue to scroll down i'm going to generate collection rom list by pressing enter and then scrape artwork okie dokes if i then go to back that's the emulator side sorted out if i press escape if i press up on my keyboard for this what i'm going to do is go down to displays press enter and this is going to be under handheld if i press enter on this here's nintendo switch press enter and here is both of my games okay so now a really awesome thing with this arcade flow layout is we got the ability here to actually use a scraper rather than using a fairly bad scrape within the tracks mode itself if i press enter on one of my games so as we can see sonic superstars has no artwork so i'm going to press enter on it if i press up scrape selected game i'm going to press enter and all i need to do now is just use my mouse to go to open and as we can see normally this would scrape but it's giving us an error it's likely because of the series of letters and numbers i got just here but if i edited that in scrape it again it would work okay so we're going to open up one of the games let's go for a sonic superstars if i press enter and play and here we go now let me just remind you we need to make sure under options start games in full screen mode is selected otherwise when you boot your games for attract mode it's likely gonna end up like this in window mode and i'm also going to configure my controller while this is loading so to do this i'm going to go to options settings input and from here under input device i'm going to select my xbox controller under controller type for this particular game i'm going to use pro controller and apply and okay okay if i press the escape button on my keyboard we can actually improve the video options here so to do this all i need to do is go to options settings graphics 
on the graphics back end if you don't see any visuals just drop this down and choose OpenGL under resolution scale we can bump this up to four times but as it says not recommended so I'm going to just leave this at two times anti-aliasing I'm going to put this to FXAA scalar filter or scalar filter I'm going to leave to barley here anastrophic filtering I'm going to put this to two times just remember if you've got a lower end computer by increasing this you might likely cause lag and that goes for resolution scale as well so that's my video setting sorted out and just remember to go to apply and okay so all my video options are now in place and what i'm going to do is just boot straight from a trap mode again and everything including my controller should be working I'm also going to briefly show you how to include DLC or updates for your game. So to do this, it's literally a case of just right clicking on your game, manage title updates, and from here you can then go to add and then just select your updates. And this is the same with DLC. So say Sonic Superstars, manage DLC. I just then go to add and then select my DLC. And that's it for today's Attract Mode Nintendo Switch and Rio Jinx setup guide. So like I said, if you're interested in checking out that arcade flow for layout which I used in Attract Plus just a minute ago, then check out the video on that. And also if you're new to Attract Mode, I'll leave a link in the description for the initial setup guide and you'll get to know and understand what Attract Mode Plus is a little better. Anyways, if you like the video, stay hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. Also join me on social media, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok, but until next time, stay retro.